Obama pretends he's president, copies Trump's Asia visits two weeks after Donald returned. After President Donald Trump had a very successful trip to Asia just two weeks ago, Barack Obama is trying to pretend he is the president again. As noted by The Hill, the former president, 10 months out of office, is now taking a trip to Asia and plans to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Obama's trip comes just two weeks after Trump's Asian tour resulted in business deals with American companies that the White House estimated to be worth $300 billion, according to Politico. Apparently unwilling to let Trump do his job and represent the U.S., Obama is now scurrying to visit China and India before he travels to Paris in an obvious attempt to undermine Trump's accomplishments. According to The Washington Post, the former president will speak at separate summits in the three countries he plans to visit, another transparent ploy to steal the spotlight from his successor. According to The Times of India, Obama is leading an event for the Obama Foundation in India's capital city of New Delhi on December 1. Obama's trip will also come on the heels of a visit to India by first daughter Ayanka Trump. In her role as White House senior advisor, Ayanka Trump met with India Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday during the Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Hyderabad. Responding to a tweet from Modi, who said he had a wonderful meeting with that Ayanka Trump, advisor to at POTUS and leader of the U.S. delegation. Trump thanked the Prime Minister for co-hosting an event that promoted entrepreneurship across the globe. Anka's trip largely focused on promoting entrepreneurship and women's issues, while the President's widely praised trip just two weeks ago yielded several major wins for the U.S. In Japan, Trump strengthened his bond with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who vowed to increase efforts to deter the growing threat of North Korea. Trump said Japan was very open to purchasing more American-made military equipment to provide increased security against North Korea. Trump also secured roughly $250 billion in deals between China and various American businesses. China's Commerce Minister Zhang Shan spoke highly of the deals with the U.S., saying that securing the trade deals was truly a miracle. Trump also indicated that China, Japan, and other nations vowed to ramp up efforts to help the U.S. combat North Korea, something Obama failed to get done while in office for eight years. Trump's America First agenda abroad has resulted in job creation, increased trade with nations across the world, and has encouraged other nations to help deter North Korea's aggression. Trump's trip only highlighted just how weakened the United States became in world affairs after eight years of Barack Obama's presidency foreign media outlets might have loved Obama as much as their American mainstream counterparts, and the delirious, comfortable mobs of Western Europe might have thrilled to Obama's cosmopolitan outlook, but for the hard men in Moscow, Tehran, and Beijing, the Obama presidency was a gift that kept on giving. Trump's Make America Great Again tour of Asia, including a pointed refusal to bow before the emperor of Japan, unlike Obama set the world on notice that the United States of the Obama years is a thing of the past. Obama might flutter around in the Trump's shadow trying to pretend he's still president, but the world already knows the truth, the truth.